Hey everyone, so we're a little south of San Francisco in the Bay Area and today we're going to be going out spear fishing. Um, it's going to be just Orville and I this time. Again, we'll link his channel below. Um, but we're just going to see what we can try to get. Any rockfish, perch, and then try to just come up with a dish that hopefully tastes good. Good about was from you, right? You just put two or three on my line. <laughs> so it looks cool, but perch is mine. I think one or two. Yeah, some of the rockfish are mine. It was a seagull. It was actually yeah, biting on my line. I know I saw, I was about to say it was biting on your line, <laughs> not on your fish. Because it was just floating at the top. But rockfish are like so much harder to get. Perched. No, all of the rockfish went, they were small. They were, it was actually one blue that was following me. Yeah. It was like, like just following me around. Like, I shot one of the fish, it punched through the, like, the whole, the whole, <laughs> like, spew just punched yeah. through it. So today we're going to be cooking up a Szechuan style boiled fish along with a winter melon espuma and a little bit of bok choy. First let's go ahead and start preparing the fish. Descale and fillet fish. Slice fish at an angle into fairly thin pieces. Mix fish with cooking wine, salt and white pepper along with cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to be used to form a crust around the fish and hold the marinade together. Let the marinade sit for about 15 minutes. Heat oil on medium heat and then add in garlic, ginger and scallions. Let brown and then add in chili bean paste and cook for 1-2 to two minutes. Add in chicken stock and bring it up to a boil. Add in fish pieces to the mixture and let cook for several minutes until opaque. You can test this by breaking one of the fish pieces and just seeing it's cooked through. Once ready, set aside in a separate bowl. Heat the oil on high heat and then add in dried peppers and the peppercorn until peppers darken but not burned. Add in the mixture, oil and all, into your bowl of fish. Next we're going to be making the winter melon espuma. So we're going to blend up the winter melon that we already chopped and boiled beforehand. Along with that, we're going to be adding plain Greek yogurt, cilantro, and heavy cream. 
We're then gonna funnel this mixture into the canister with a mesh strainer. Then we're gonna charge it with NO2 canister and shake it up. This should be all set to go now. Next, we're gonna cook up the bok choy. We blanched this in boiling water beforehand and now we're just quickly charring it. Now we're gonna add some salt and pepper. All right, I think we're ready to plate. Our final dish, we tried to plate it pretty minimalist. Theming was kind of like hot and cooling, which yeah. is like a pretty big element in Chinese cooking. So if we didn't say it before, it's a really spicy dish, um, Chinese origins. And we cooked the rockfish that I speared in a ton of hot spices. You mm -hmm. can still see the Sichuan peppercorns. Yeah. Um, and then we drizzled it with some of the sauce that we cooked it in. So actually, not that spicy. Mm. I think the cooling element definitely worked. I feel a little weirdly more affected. It's It hits you at the back of your throat a little bit, kind of near the back of your tongue. I think what it's like the dish is famous for is kind of that like numbing sensation. But I eat it without the winter melon, definitely feel in the back of my throat like he was just saying. But yeah, I think together it's definitely palatable. No worries on the spice at all. I don't know, I like it. People actually use a lot more spice with this dish and I kind of held back. So I actually really like this and I think we should make it again. What do you think? <laughs> It was really good. Even if it, even if you can't take the spicy sometimes. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to see more content. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.